All right, now we're doing 8Q, Find the Slope. This is by Alexi, and 87% of the people like it. So we'll be given an array of four integers, A, B, C, and D, representing two points, uh, A and B, so X1 and, X and Y1 and Y2, excuse me, X2 and Y2, basically like that. And we're going to return a string representation of the slope of the line joining these two points, all right? Uh, for an undefined slope, anything that's like a, whenever it's a division by zero, we're going to return undefined. And we're going to note that the undefined is case sensitive. All right, so it just needs to be under case, lower case. <laughs> anyway, uh, so here's basically what I just said about that up here. Uh, we're going to assume that this and the answer are all integers, no floating numbers, right? So basically, we just got to think back to how to say slope formula in Google and rise over run. I remember that. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. That's familiar enough to me, all right? So let's take care of this thing for when it's uh, divisible, excuse me, when, uh, uh, yeah, it's division by zero. Basically, if this one equals this one, then if the two x's are the same, then it's going to be undefined, basically. So let's just do that right now. So we could say on this, uh, what could we say on this? We could say mm, if points at uh, this one at zero equals points at two return undefined just like that so now we've got that taken care of now we're just going to return the slope formula on the next one so we're going to say return and then we'll do uh, points Hold on, let's wrap this up in parentheses. Points at, uh, which one is that? Points at three. All right, minus points at one. And then we're gonna divide that by points at two minus points at zero, all right? And let's test that out. All right, we want this uh, numeral zero to equal this string zero. So we're gonna come over here to this string constructor, which is used to create a new string object, but uh, when it's called instead as a function, it performs type conversion to primitive string, which is usually more useful, and that's what we're gonna use it for right now. So we're just gonna wrap this thing up with another set of parentheses, and we're gonna say string in front of it, just like that with a capital S. Test it out, and right, look at that, we win, all right? Attempt it, ah, oh, cool, awesome. But you know what, there's a way to do this much shorter, and in my opinion, much cooler. Uh, and if you don't know how to do it, I'm gonna show you right now. So we can come over here, and we can say const, Instead of function, we can say slope equals, and we'll leave points there for now. All right, and let's put an arrow right here. So this points, I say that about uh, points because we can use this destructuring assignment syntax, uh, which is a JavaScript expression that makes it possible to unpack values from arrays or properties from objects into distinct variables. So because we have that array, we can name it whatever we want uh, because of this destructuring assignment syntax. Since it's always going to be coming in like this, we can just say right here, we can get that points, we can wrap it up in a uh, in some brackets and just say A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, D, just like that, all right? Now we've got it looking like that right there. So uh, after that, we can come down here and we can say, we can use this uh, ternary operator instead of a for, excuse me, instead of a uh, if statement, 
If you don't know about the uh, conditional or ternary operator, it's the only JavaScript operator that takes three operands, a condition followed by a question mark, then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy, followed by a colon, and finally, the expression to execute if the condition is falsy. And this operator is frequently used as an alternative to an if-else statement, just like I said. So, down here we'll say, if A equals C, so if these two equal each other, question mark, we're going to return undefined. And if not, we'll say, and let's say string like this, let's do one of these, and say D minus B, outside of these parentheses, we'll say divided by another parentheses, and we'll say C minus A, just like thus. And let's see if this works. And there we go, just like that. And attempt it, and submit it. A little cleaner, in my opinion. Uh, we've got this right here, uh, is finite slope. I've never looked up is finite. Maybe I should have for this one, but too late. Anyway, here's basically what we just did, except for we uh, did the uh, destructuring assignment syntax to make it a little cleaner. Uh, here's some way of doing it. Uh, basically, <laughs> doing rise over run and uh, doing the if statement right up there. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go to mine. You can check out the rest if you feel like it. Uh, it's just me on this one. Best practice in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.